Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Percussion in the News. Um, today we're looking at some really cool ones that are very short. Uh, there's a handful of them, but they're 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 really interesting because they're kind of from the classifieds or the personal ads of the day uh, around America in the early 1910s. Uh, and there's one from 1935. The first one is from the Topeka Daily Capital in Topeka, Kansas in 1912. And this one says, Situations, male, wanted, position as trap drummer in picture show, evenings, has owned traps, address drummer, care, capital. So kind of neat to look at this because I guess situations refers to like it's a job posting, uh, which is just different wording from today. And then on the bottom with the address drummer care capital, I think that's referring to you would like write in and kind of say this is regarding the drummer uh, care of capital, which is the Topeka Daily Capital. So uh, we'll see that again on some other ones. The next one is from um, the Topeka Daily Capital as well. Lots of trap drummers in Topeka uh, from 1914. This one has a little more info. So it says situation wanted trap drummer union experienced picture house preferred play bells and xylophone good line of effects sober and reliable address paul r grant trap drummer chickasha oklahoma box 993 so i guess it was a big enough problem for people to be drinking on the job and not showing up to work or kind of a combination of both for it to have to say sober and reliable in the ad which is kind of uh kind of neat to see that it gives you a glimpse at what it was like in 1914 for a musician <laughs> The next one we have is from the Evansville Press in Evansville, Indiana in 1914. This one is a lost and found ad that says, lost and found, lost, rod and felt ball from bass drum pedal, please return, 303 Line Street. It's just neat to see this ad um, because bass drum pedals were pretty new at that time. 1909 is kind of the accepted first uh, year of bass drum pedals in mass production from Ludwig and Ludwig. Um, but it's neat to see in 1914, someone has lost their bass drum beater, their rod and felt ball from bass drum pedal. So if you find it, please return it. The next one we have is from the Democrat and Chronicle from Rochester, New York in 1917. This is just kind of a fun, odd one. It says to swap a lady's gold wristwatch for bass drum pedal, six Manhattan street. So I don't know if this is maybe a woman who's trying to trade one of her wristwatches for a bass drum pedal. Uh, or maybe someone just, uh, it's, you can kind of go crazy with the, the imagination of like, maybe he, he lost his wife or his girlfriend and now he's getting rid of it and wants a bass drum pedal. Uh, we'll never know, but it's kind of cool to see this in the newspaper, uh, <laughs> this kind of odd trade. And this last ad is cool. This is, um, from Sioux city journal in Sioux city, Iowa, uh, 1935. So this one says, will swap leady vibraphone for light car, right? C three, three, seven care journal. So that's a pretty cool one to see, just someone trying to trade a leady vibraphone for a light car. Um, it's pretty far-fetched, I would think, that that would work out. But again, I've made some pretty crazy trades that have that I didn't think would be possible. And you get a drum set or a drum for something that's completely different. I traded a Coleman mini bike once for a Mapex drum set, which then I traded for something else and then something else and then got another drum set. So you never know. So it's worth trying. And it's cool that people have been trying to trade stuff for a long time. Thank you, as always, to my friend Jerry Ryman, who sent me over this uh, great binder of percussion in the news articles. Lots of stuff we're working through here. Uh, if you enjoy this, subscribe, um, like the video, leave a comment and tell me what you want me to uh, talk about next. There's tons of brands and all kinds of stuff in there that I'll go through. So thank you for watching this and we'll see you on the next one.